Jeremiah 14, the setting is intense. I mean, historically, the people of God are going through drought, famine, barrenness, difficulty. But see, this chapter isn't just a page out of a history book. It has spiritual implications. The drought that they were experiencing physically was truly representative of where their hearts were spiritually. They had gone so far away from God that it got this intense, this bad. You say, how bad? Well, let me read it to you. It's in verse 11. The Lord said to me, do not pray for these people anymore. When they fast, I will pay no attention. When they present their burnt offerings and grain offerings to me, I will not accept them. Instead, I will devour them with war and famine and disease. That's how bad it got, that when Jeremiah was praying on behalf of the people, God said, it's done. Don't, don't, don't ask me anymore about their fasting and their feasts and their offerings. Their heart is far from me. Now, you know the entire story of the nation of Israel, that God is not giving up on them, but he is allowing them to experience the consequences of their sin. And you also know how this book ends, that God one day will let there be righteous judgment. And for all those who say, God, I want nothing to do with you, he will allow one day that decision to be final. But listen to me, today is not that day. Today, you have an opportunity to respond to God, to allow your heart to be open to God, to turn to God. So I wanna encourage you, as you read chapter 14, it's about famine, it's about drought, it's about hardship, but I want you to be encouraged. The Bible says in the New Testament that today is the day of salvation. Let the backdrop of this difficulty be an encouragement for you today to respond and surrender afresh to the Lord completely. See, God loves you. He cares for you. He gave his son, Jesus Christ, to die for you so that you might have life. Don't harden your heart towards him, but open up your heart and experience the new life in Jesus that God offers to all those who will come to him today.